Welcome everybody to Practical Numerical Methods for Scientists and Engineers. Today we'll start new module, module 4, and today we'll discuss roots of system of equations. So it says we here we have system of equations and we want to find the roots for them. So suppose that you have two equations, for example, equation 1 and equation 2 and the, there, these are the coefficients and we have x1 here x2 and b1 and b2 and we want to solve it so uh, in graphical method we can use you can use excel or you can draw it by your uh, own hand uh, so we can select one x to be the common our common so for example we can uh, solve both equations for x2. So the first one, x2, will be a1 minus a1 over a2 times x1 plus p1 over a2. And then for the second equation, x2 will be a3 over a4, of course it's minus, x1 plus p2 over a4. So then when we plot them for example we can we have here x1 and we are here we have x2 okay so then we can find the uh, draw each function so for example we plot this one and plot this one so suppose that now they are intercept in one common point so for this point this will be my solution and this will be my solution okay so let's uh, take an example use graphical approach to determine the roots of the following and it gives me these two equations so we start by solving the equation we choose uh, x2 so x2 for the equation 1 is 3 minus 3 over 2 x1 plus 18 over 2 and for the second equation it will be minus minus 1 over 2 x1 plus 2 over 2 so then we can create excel sheet okay so in excel sheet we have we created uh, for example from minus 10 to 9 and then we solve each one x2 for the first equation and x2 for the second equation here's we created x1 and here's x2 and then we find both equations are has the intercept that represent x2 uh, equal 3 and here x1 equal 4 it's very important to use this graphical method that it will be have one intercept so if the two lines are parallel then there is no roots for this equation if the two lines are coincidence then there is infinite number infinite number of roots because all these are numbers of roots if the two lines are very close to each other so then it's cause a problem and this condition is known as L condition. So this is for graphical method. See you in next session. Assalamu alaikum.